Mati Toro isn't your average nine-year-old. It's really like cool to like be in air not touching the ground at all. He's been doing gymnastics for five years. Born in Barcelona, he and his family lived in Miami before moving to Rochester, Vermont about three and a half years ago. When he was very young, it was very obvious that it was like natural for him. When he could barely walk, you know, he was like a monkey hanging from, hanging from everywhere. This summer, they're relocating to New York City. Mati recently auditioned for the School of American Ballet and was among the 25% to be accepted. It happened very sudden. We were not looking for this at all. You know, we were focusing on his gymnastic skills. The school offers a tuition-free boys program, so that's covered, but to up and move comes with a cost. It's something family and friends have pitched in to help out with, donating on a GoFundMe page. It's really hard, you know, it's uh, financially very challenging to move to New York. It's been great, you know, seeing the support of people and, you know, their family's so happy. They're all like, what? For this Darren Aaron challenge, we do four events starting on the tumble track. His passes were much more graceful than mine. Aside from the front handsprings, we also did a round off back tuck. With this, I did very well. In fact, on my third try, I nailed it. Moving on to the mushroom, again, he makes it look easy. I absolutely failed. It wasn't even close. Matisse showed off his skills here on the high bar, doing uprises. I opted for the uneven bars, doing a pullover, no problem, even a front hip circle. Cast squat on, yeah, that's where the skills stopped. We rounded out the competition on the floor with something basic, a handstand contest. To even things out, I was allowed one fall. The rules are simple, whoever stays up longer wins. 